We are back and it's still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa final conversation this morning uh, borders on the importance of uh, digital marketing and uh, we have a digital marketing enthusiast with us uh, on this discussion. But before I introduce him, experts in the global export business have said that the success of Nigeria's local export business in the 21st century will be determined by digital marketing operations. Yeah, digital marketing operations. Now, speaking of the capacity building program on the use of e-commerce to promote export businesses for SMEs and other exporters, it's organized by the Nigerian Export Promotion Council in Ilori on Wednesday. Uh, the Dr. Mustafa Yusuf Ismala, who is the of the Department of Marketing, Faculty of Management Sciences, University of Illinois, said that the nation's efforts are trying to diversify its economy through non-oil export product business can only be attained by trying to showcase the products the country has through the internet. Now, Dr. Mustafa, who said that though there are inherent challenges in the digital operations, like transforming of manual uh, from manual to digital economy platform, heavy investment, security of property in terms of loss of data and network provision. Uh, quickly, he added that the challenges do not mean one should throw away the baby with the bottle. Now, let's look at this issue of um, the importance of digital marketing to Nigeria's export. I mean, in these times of um, uh, <laughs> lack of foreign exchange, we need to be exporting more than we're doing right now. Temitayo Oyeyemi. Oyeyemi is yeah. a digital marketing enthusiast. Uh, sorry about the temperature, but you're welcome. Nice to have you on the program. Yeah, nice to morning. be here. So good morning. You know, I, I was happy to, you know, uh, whilst talking about the fact that the, the doc mm -hmm. who made the statement is from the Faculty of Management Sciences uh, in, in the Department of Marketing, which okay. is my former department. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, kindred spirit. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so, digital marketing. I always, you know, like to sound foolish on, on, on the air because okay. sometimes I assume that people do not know. For those who want to understand, you know, what digital marketing is about, let's start from there. Okay. You know, what is digital marketing? Um, so it's not as complicated as people make it seem. It's still marketing. As marketing are well known from the ages back, which is taught, also taught in school, it's still the same thing. Just now done using digital platforms like um, social media, um, content, and Google primarily, but it's basically marketing done on digital platforms. You know, when we were in school, we didn't have digital marketing. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was only just the textbooks, you know, for the court line and stuff. Mm -hmm. So now the game has changed. Um, and you're talking about the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the, the sector like in Nigeria as far as digital marketing is concerned? Are we... You know, because when we talk of fintech, we know Nigeria is not doing badly. Mm -hmm. When we talk of startups, we saw startups so it's happening with uh, Google, where almost half of those, you know, benefiting from the, the $4 million put up by Google to fund African startups are from Nigeria. Nigeria. But for digital marketing, how is the nation faring? Um, so I think we're going in leaps and bounds. I remember when I came into the industry about four or five years, there were literally maybe three major digital uh, marketing firms. Right now, there's a thousand and one marketing firms. So the, the industry is growing. Um, we're also in becoming more organized. There's something called the advertising uh, ad map. The okay. uh, Association of Digital Marketing Professionals in Nigeria. So we're okay. trying to organize ourselves, make some um, guidelines and processes in place so that we can build the industry even bigger than what it is presently. Interesting, interesting. You know, I was going to ask you, you know, we know that the doyens and the dawns of marketing in this country and whether that sector has been able to trans transit itself from the, the old kind of marketing to the current, in the agencies you have. But I'm sure you saying that we have an association means that. Are, are those are the big agencies we used to see before, you know, we know of, you know, I'll mention their names here. Mm -hmm. Have they been able to, to um, metamorphose into what currently they should be? Um, yes, I believe they have. They, they, they've, led, they've, led the, they've led the progress that we've had so far. They've increased what we are doing presently. They've taught us what we've known, and they've expanded the pie exponentially. So yes, they've done what they're supposed to do. Now it's led for us to take on the baton for the new up-and-coming upstarts and be more creative and take it from where they've left it to where it's, it's going to go to. You know, you know, in in Nigeria, people they like what we like, what we see. You know, people go tell you, say, ah, I know they collect uh, PS PS. So I want to see the money. Okay, yes, <laughs> yes, I get Believe it or not, a, a few this week, I tried to buy something, some drinks from a, a shop, 
near where I live, and I brought my ATM card. <laughs> the guy there is not, I don't think he's, uh, the owner of the shop is, is more than 40 years. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he is above, if he's above 40, not more than 45 years old. Okay. He refused, he said he doesn't have POS, he doesn't believe in that, I can go with my money. He was angry, I had to pull out cash. Hmm. And I said, well, what are you doing? I mean, you're a young man. This is 2022. Where is your POS? I said, okay, just go down the road. There's a POS vendor there. Go and withdraw money. Come and pay me. A Nigerians accepting digital marketing. Is, is it something that in the country has been accepted as a means of, you know, uh, um, being exposed to services and products that they can patronize? Yeah, I believe um, the success of our fintech, like you've mentioned, it's a pointer that it's growing. Um, I, I believe what we really need to, what we really have in the country is a trust element that we really lack. Um, we have a really big trust issue which we have to surmount, and it can only come by going to the market and educating the market and pushing the products to the market. And over time, it will be change. I can imagine five years ago, ten years ago, even if you go to the restaurant, they would not collect your ATMs. But right now, it's default. ATMs, but now you're talking about the guys on the local market. Now that guy might not be that sophisticated, or it could also be maybe the fees are not enough to cover for the transactions. There are some other factors that are there, they're not big enough to accept that, because all of those POAs also have fees attached to it. So that could also be why he's drawing back to that. But like I said, the, the only way forward is the future. Okay. We can't go backwards. So, so now that we, we've been told by Dr. Mustafa Yusuf Ismail of the Department of Marketing, uh, Faculty of Management Sciences, University of Lauren, that those in, in the export sector should um, incorporate digital marketing in what they do, mm -hmm. how can exporters use digital marketing as a tool to reach markets around the world? Okay. Um, so, like I say when I train, um, the world is now local. There's no division any longer. The internet has broken all the borders. Your market is no longer local. Your market is global. So, whatever you can produce and sell in Nigeria, you can market and sell somebody in China, in, in Europe, in Asia. You can do all of that. So the internet has broken all the borders. So yes, um, I agree completely with what the professor has said. I believe exports are what will drive the non-oil revenue for the country. And exports don't necessarily mean to have products. It does not have to be manufacturing. It could be services. It could be um, technology. And I believe with our young population, um, the future is, is very bright. Uh, we have models to follow. We have the Indian model to follow. We have the um, Asian model to follow, where they are being the bulk of what they are doing right now is technology and services. And that is driving a lot of GDP growth. Because uh, according to them, they are, the world right now, 15% of the GDP is driven by digital. So I can imagine what that happens when Nigeria fully integrates, and then we can do a whole lot more. Um, I believe, yes, I, be, I fully believe the export business can be driven by digital markets. And because one, you have social media. Anybody in the world can find your content right now, engage with you, see your products and services, and make orders for you. Um, you can pay online right now um, without any friction. You want to have a MasterCard, you can make any transaction. Anybody can pay you. You also have the likes of Flutterwave that allows you to receive payment across the world. So those are the things that have democratized everything. And I believe, yes, export businesses and um, at, um, reaching the global market is something that Nigerians will you know, definitely benefit from. For someone listening who is an expert and who doesn't know how to start, what should they do? Uh, the first thing they want to first do is go back to your product and services. What exactly are you selling? What does the data tell you that people are looking for? What are the export countries, your target export countries that they're actually looking for? Visit your um, trade unions, visit your SME business websites and see what products and services you can take to them. Then when you have that data, you can go back and now build something for them, build a product and then make a bit of um, engagement with the community and then start to push your product and services. But you have to first find what you, you want to sell. If you miss that, then you struggle to sell it. In the first so place. What, what platforms are we looking at? I know you won't give everything away because yes. you, you have to be a trainer. <laughs> you know, but what, what platforms are we looking at? Do, do, they all, do they all need to have websites? Absolutely. They, that's the first point of call because nobody's going to come all the way from, your, from an international country to your country to talk to you. The first point of call is your website. So you want to have your products, your services, um, who you are already pretty visible on your website and being able to be seen from across Google as well. So anybody says, let's assume you want to, you're looking for um, let's use developer as an example, or you're looking for maybe somebody wants to export rubber, for an example. But somebody from, let, let's say, um, Europe says rubber exports, um, rubber exports in the world. You want to ensure your website is found for those kind of keywords. And even if you cannot do that, then you want to ensure you're running advertising on digital platforms like Google as well. So anybody searching for those kind of things can easily find your business. 
what the internet has done is visibility, people being able to find you. But your job is not to ensure that your marketing is positioning you to be found at that particular point. So you need to know what you want to be found for, then do whatever you need to do to achieve being found there. Uh, I for think the bottom line is probably get somebody who can do all this for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is why we, the experts, come in. Is it a cost uh, effective for, for those who, who are you know, just starting basically just to export little things and not really? Is it cost effective? Well, I see, I don't, I, I see advertising as an investment, not as a cost. Okay. So even if it doesn't work, you're getting the word out there. And over time, consistently, the results will come. So in terms of cost effectiveness, So yes, you're saying you guys don't come cheap? Yeah, well, <laughs> we, why don't you think of it as an investment? So right. um, the results will definitely come if done properly. And the good thing about digital, like you mentioned, is that it's all measurable. So if this does not work, what you've just gotten is data that this does not work. You can go back and analyze your data and figure out what to do next to get much better results. All right, we should have more time. Absolutely. But, I mean, you've given us uh, a lot to think on, of and chew of. Um, Temi Tayo Oyemi is a digital marketing expert. And okay. we're glad to have had you on the breakfast. Thank you, morning. and I'm glad to have been yes, here. Indeed. Yeah. All right, and that's uh, the size of a package right here on the breakfast. Um, if you, uh, whatever you're doing, you need to have your footprint on the internet. You can follow us on social media across all platforms at Plus TV Africa. We have uh, clips and, of course, um, uh, footage of our program. It's on our YouTube page, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, where we're streaming live from all of us here. And from our studios on Victoria Island, Lagos, my name is Kofi Bartels. Thanks for joining us. We'll return with a breakfast next week. Good morning.